Anyway, I'm going to start the recording. Before we start, can I give a, a shout out to uh, Damos Payne from the uh, Alcoholic Association of America? Been seven months clean. Good guy. All right. Okay. <laughs> In any case, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the IC Cup Star League round of 56, day two. Um, I have just brought up the today's or today's groups. As you can see, let me actually link this. Oh, but it sounds like the game is starting. So here we go. Let's see if there's lag. Is the recording going? No lag. Uh, wrong map. Indeed. Whoa! Looks like we got the wrong map. Whoopsie daisies. No, we don't. Are they fucking stupid? <laughs> Good job, organizer. <laughs> No, you have to understand, they're the second player in their bracket. The second player is on Coliseum. I oh. the first players. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie Whatever. daisy. Whoops. Uh, my okay. My be nervous. <laughs> uh, you guys are stupid, for my mistake. <laughs> You guys are stupid. You didn't remind me quick enough. <laughs> okay, you know so fun? let's try that Sail again. M. Sail and Joe Kim, you didn't know it either, so fuck you guys. Let's try it again. Well, Sail, technically, you it again? <laughs> I, would, I would really like to play. Didn't tell you before you can, I just, can I just invite myself into this group? Is that... What group? I'm just going to invite myself into this group. I'm just going to replace one of these players. Uh, okay. Trial 2. <laughs> Trial 2, let me get my D&D &D on. Indeed. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, once again we have joined the game. Um, and we have Shawnee versus Astro Shawnee, the orange Protoss in the bottom left. And Astro, aka Kid Canada, the AKA yellow AKA TSL Brad Pitt, <laughs> aka Draw C, aka the self-proclaimed best Protoss ever. Wait, you... Kid Canada isn't Drossy. Yes, he is. Anyway, oh, I'm going to uh, called IPs. They I'm going to ally Astro and Shift Tab Tab just so it's a little bit clearer. Um, I'm also going to set up my overlay so you guys can start talking. Hold on, watch, uh, watch. He's gonna <laughs> he's going to say no. It's my brother. <laughs> Oh, ironic, you're both, you know, Protoss, you both play the same, it's crazy. Um, I like Shawnee's pylon placement better. Or no response. He's like, screw you, I D&D'd &D you. Ignored you. Hmm. So, I don't, I don't know how anyone else feels about this, but I like Shawnee's pylon much better. Uh, not so much his gate placement, but... Astro is looking to get owned by Reaver by putting his pile on there. You like that pile on? You wanna touch it? <laughs> it's so sharp and pointy. <laughs> okay, so it looks like uh, both players actually scouting the middle of the map. Uh, oh, very nice. Both noticing each other scouting workers. Gonna immediately turn around and go in the right direction. Oh, oh Shawnee. Wow, Shawnee is doing... Gate. Yeah, a 10-12. Interesting. Whereas Astro's going for the gas. And this is... I think 10-12 is really bad on this map, because you just have to put 1-Z lot first. Uh, it's quite a large map. And Astro doing a cool block at the top of his ramp with one probe, actually messing up Shawnee's probe AI. Taking him back. Shawnee's streaming. That would be ironic. Um, luckily, I have referees that are, are checking if all the players that are playing are on D&D, &D, so... Oh! Astro opting to just put up a second gate. Uh, not yeah. going to take advantage. He didn't get gas. Yeah, not mining. Second pound Probes is a bit late as well. Uh, -huh. uh Shawnee seeing this and deciding to chase the probe inside his base, recognizing that he's not at a huge disadvantage yet. Alright, both players just chasing their probes around. Another pylon going down, blocking the back of the minerals here for Astro. Quite like that. Uh, 
zealots, a second zealot coming out. Um, and it looks like Shawnee's zealots are actually going to move out now. He's going to move across. Yeah. He's going to actually leave a probe to chase the scouting, uh, scouting worker and send all of his zealots across to attack Astro. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be effective. No, it's not. He's going to block his ramp. So Although, yeah. Astro didn't see them leave the base, but he does see that they're not in the base. So he's going to put up a block, hopefully. I'm not quite sure uh, what he's doing. Oh, two zealots just popped up. Yeah, timing. Now going to put up a three zealot wall. Uh, Shawnee Maybe he's not going to wall. Maybe he's oh, going to stand there. Expo Maybe by Shawnee. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The zealots are moving out. Shawnee, only three zealots to four of Astro. Got to be a little bit careful there. Taking some free hits. Throwing down a Nexus. It's going to get scouted by a worker. Or comes up. Um, this is actually uh, quite interesting. I've, I've been watching Shawnee stream quite a bit recently, and uh, I've seen him do this quite a few times. Oh, so he, these aren't special builds? Uh, well, even if it is, I've seen it before. So, uh, Shawnee's it's not like some eating Zealot is one, a one-hit kill. Astro not noticing that, even though he is outmanned. Uh, just gotta put up a quick wall. Yeah. Oh, but letting the Zealots in! Yeah. Hopefully Six Zealots. So this is gonna... Going oh, up. Shawnee, I think he's gonna wall at the bottom <laughs> of this ramp. Get kind of... A little bit of suicide right there. Just letting his... So I think yeah, it's his eli got hit pretty bad. So uh, we got Shawnee's two just gonna set, this, set up this wall at the bottom, and uh, it's why is he is he gonna bust his own ramp? Is that what he's going to do instead of just waiting for two goons? Because he has two uh, two probes on now. He's putting up a citadel. Why are there although, two torches? Is he going for a although, double upgrade? I have no double idea. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a mistake. I am that's almost hilarious. positive that is a mistake. Oh, I, I wish I could. I never saw it. that. Yeah, it's a new build. Two for me too. Core core. Uh, uh, but oh, here comes the breakout. There's one dragoon Double now. <clears throat> Some monsters are going on. Are there. I don't see why he's Those, closer with this army. Yeah, the probes are completely useless. Um, why did Ike up no one just leave the abyss? And Shawnee finally has gotten his gas up. Uh, gonna start mining, but here comes uh, the breakout once again with the second dragoon and the probes. I don't know why there are two probes there. Oh, putting going for a DT drop. Ah, very interesting. Our lovely uh, Ike up known is back. I feel safe. <laughs> it's no one fondling me. Now, now Shawnee does oh, have the forces, so he can put cannons down uh, in his main as well. Um, you see double forge, why would you go with DT drop? <laughs> <laughs> well, he is upgrading out of one of the forges. Let's see if he starts upgrading out of the other one as well. Is he going to try to make it look like that wasn't a mistake? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going for double upgrade. <laughs> Guys, I meant to do this. I planned it the entire time. A Z-Lock going to run... No, it might get blocked. Not going to run into Astro's base for a scout. I doubt he thinks a DT drop because he saw the two goons and he sees the expo. Definitely some decent execution by Astro. Uh, it's a counter build. He 99% probably didn't plan this. That's yeah, like, hey, that's Sailor, like planning. Sailor, are you getting any complaints about your stream? Because uh, uh, Bella's telling me that uh, your screen is green and he, he only hears the audio. Is Bella trolling? It could just be him. I think it's just him. I think, okay. he's troll. I think he should just refer. You know yeah. Uh, he's, yeah. I think. I was, oh, he is using double forge like he was. <laughs> yeah, going for the double upgrades. <laughs> DT's out. Shuttle out. Gonna see that DT drop. Hopefully that his scout probe runs in his scout probe, so he doesn't send it right over. Now, what uh, are those two dragoons doing in the middle of the map? Uh, checking for scout probes. Alright, and it looks like a robo is going down now for Shawnee. Uh, Astro putting see, down a no, spotting he doesn't see the here. shuttle. Oh, he doesn't see it. Oh man, that was so close. The probe! Oh, the probe! Is he gonna get in? Oh no, there's get a Get it, down. get it! Uh, it's too late anyway, that shuttle... Wow, Shawnee actually almost catching it! Oh, so close! God, it's like half of a click away. Oh my god, and all his forces are moving out. He might actually elevate these dragoons oh, in yeah, even. Put the goons in the base so you can snipe a cannon. And Shawnee is completely out of position. His army is all the way across the map. 
Oh my goodness, the cannon just finishes. Shawnee knows what's up. He's surrounding the cannon. Very nice move. Nice. That's exactly what you needed to do. If those DTs had dropped down, they could have killed the cannon. It's now cannon on Dragoon action. Astro picking Although up the DT is going to snipe. Other dragon in. Not sure why Shawnee's just sitting there at his base. Um, but Shawnee going for the counter in the natural, uh, but going to lose the pylon powering all of his gateways. He's got three unpowered gateways. Um, let's see how the counter attack goes. The probes are coming off the line for Astro. I don't think this is going to work for Shawnee. There's too many units here, but uh, he's trying to repower his gateways. His observatory is just finishing up now, trying to get up another cannon in range of his gateways as well. The gateways are still unpowered, but Shawnee looks like he does have a higher Dragoon count, so he's just going to try and micro it down, but he's not paying attention. Shawnee losing nope. one, one DT Dragoon. DT going to go clean up those goons. Indeed, DT is going to force Shawnee back. Um, Shawnee is in a bad spot here. Although he, he does have an upgrade advantage. And it looks like the cannon just finishes, the DT's... <laughs> oh, just taking one hit. And indeed he does, he is at 1-0 right now. Um, doesn't quite have a... Taking up these DT's instead of killing a gateway. Must know that the observatory is done. Uh, Goof running away. Oh, the shuttle is gonna go down. Oh, sniped. Gonna lose two Dragoons Bad for it, though. Bad move by Astro, just lack of attention there. Although Astro ha does have an insanely large, uh... Advantage minus the 1-1 uh, upgrades. <laughs> <laughs> so Shawnee's probe is going to the top left now. Um, Astro's DTs are just running away. Oh, yeah, he has a plus one. So. I'm going to point out that Shawnee's upgrading 1-1-1. One, one, one. He's upgrading his plasma as well because he doesn't have a Templar chief. Wow, I'm going to go for shields. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard anyone say Archie. Me neither. <laughs> Now, the thing is, Shawnee throwing down a bunch of gateways is going to go up to seven gateways along with his citadel. I don't know. Can he really afford all that? Uh, he can, but it's really all in. He, he, he has to. I mean, he knows he's at a huge disadvantage. Whereas Astro's is just going to throw up a third and rely on his good storms if he has them. Never seen them. Although, he makes an arc instead. Indeed. And I wouldn't say Shawnee's that far behind. I mean, uh... Probe. He has six goons. Yeah. Okay. Fine. His armies. Is He's really behind. Pretty. Yeah. Um. Astro looks like he's hiding one DT in the nine o'clock position. Another DT just running around the middle of the map. It might get that probe. Nope. Ooh. I wish uh, Kid Cannon had followed up his his DT drop with the storm drop. Me too. It would have been really nice if the natural the natural was wide open. Yeah. I, I think he just wanted a small advantage, but he's getting out upgraded. One 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 versus uh, one zero. That's that's a dilemma. Astro's actually can afford to go Zealot, uh, Ark, and Templar, but deciding to go Mass Goons gonna try to bust him down. It looks like. Uh, and it looks like he did clear out that DT that was on the nine o'clock position. Uh. Looks like Astro just moving around the map a little bit. Showing off his prowess, he's like, I have a higher unit count, which ironically he doesn't now. Also, I like this observer patrolling behind Shawnee's natural. Oh, it's just moving out now, but it was doing a bit of a patrol, just checking for the storm drop. Oh, no, it just uh, readjusted its position. Um, it looks like Shawnee's going to put up a third before Astro and have a unit advantage and an upgrade advantage. So I guess that 78 was a really smart move. He is pushing out now. Uh, this will probably be deciding. Uh, but a probe is going to spot it. He's going to see the army. 